with them. I do not know whether I'm under arrest or not. Uh, presently, I've recorded just a statement. This is not my first time to come here, as you may be aware. Uh, this is uh, my second or so time to be here with regard to this issue of the mall. So I've just recorded a very brief statement on the documents they have uh, found in my house. And uh, we must allow them to find out whether they have connection to do with the mall or not. I am not aware now whether I am under arrest or not. But whether I am under arrest or not to me is irrelevant. What is relevant is that we must fight corruption and we must, those who are involved, must open up to be investigated. And we should not cause unnecessary drama, run away, carry our, uh, uh, what, what do you call it, our hoods and cover our backs. No. I am persuaded that all leaders who hold public offices hold it in trust for the people of this country. And sometimes the money may be lost under your watch. And you may have had the best of intentions. Even then, you must answer and let the courts acquit you. So I think they are perfectly in order to have some of you here to have searched my houses. Go to that, but your guess is as good as mine. I was the chairman in 2014-2015. I was there for a year and a half. By the time I was leaving the Lake Basin Development Authority, not a coin had been paid, and the EACC had gotten in. Who authorized the payment if there were illegality? Who paid the billions if there were illegality? If there were criminal aspects, why was payment made when this matter was already under investigation? I do not say that these payments were illegal, but they should have just been wise to halt until the matter is investigated fully. I am aware that the AG had given his opinion, the Auditor General had given his opinion. Virtually everybody who matters, including the State Department of Public Works, had given their opinion on this thing. It is not my place to, to tell you what the opinion was, but that the thing drags on and on. I tell you it is very worrying. Yes. But we must be bold enough to bite the bullet, especially those of us who hold public offices. It is not an end. We must say that we are holding these offices in trust. If you stole the money, you must be account held accountable. If money was lost in your hands, you must also explain how. If it is with the connivance from your part, you must also explain how. I'm ready to carry mine, but I'm saying the unnecessary delay is causing a lot of suspicion allowing documents to be tampered with, allowing probably some witnesses may not be there. It does not serve our country.